Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Corey and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video guys, I've got another comparison for you and in this one we're going to be comparing the Sony Xperia M2 up against the current mid-range device from Sony, the Xperia SP and hopefully by the end of this video you guys will have some idea of what the main differences are and hopefully it's helpful towards you in the future if you are looking to go and get the Sony Xperia M2 or the Sony Xperia SP which is one of my favorite mid-range devices right now so let's not waste any more time let's jump straight into the video so as I mentioned before the Sony Xperia SP is one of my favorite designed mid-range smartphone on the market right now it features a removable polycarbonate back and a solid look in front but the main attraction for me and I'm sure others out there is the LED strip which is housed on the bottom of the device. It switches colours when you're scrolling through your media files and also when you receive any form of notification and I find this to be very cool and all around it's a great looking device. The M2 construction idea is taken from the Sony Xperia Z range devices. It looks very similar to the Sony Xperia Z1 with the glass on the front and the back which makes it look and feel very premium in the hand. The build also takes some effect to the weight. The Sony Xperia SP weighs in at 155 grams and is 10 millimeters thick in comparison to the M2 which weighs in at 148 grams and is 8.6 millimeters thick. So the M2 will be slightly thinner and lighter than the Sony Xperia SP, but let me know which one you guys will prefer when it comes to the design. Display is where the SP shines over the M. The SP is rocking a 4.7 inch TFT screen with a resolution at 720p and a pixel density of 319. The M2 is rocking a 4.8 inch TFT screen with a resolution at 540p and a pixel density of 229. So in terms of the display, the SP is superior to the M, but we will wait and see how the M actually looks when it's next door to the Sony Xperia SP. In terms of screen protection, the M2 has the same scratch resistance glass that was used on the original Sony Xperia M, but the SP is complemented with the Corning Gorilla glass, which is something I would probably prefer over the scratch resistance glass. When it comes to the performance, you'll also find some differences. The Sony Xperia SP has a 1.7 GHz dual core processor with 1 GB of RAM and also the Adreno 320 GPU as well. So the SP is one of the powerhouse mid-range devices that you're going to find out there on the market right now. In the other hand, the M2 will feature a 1.2 GHz Snapdragon 400 quad-core processor with 1 GB of RAM and the Adreno 305 GPU. On paper, the cameras are pretty much at the same standard. Both feature 8 megapixel primary sensor with a VGA front facing camera. Both can also produce full 1080p video recording at 30 frames per second. And last but not least is the internal storage and battery. The M2 and the SP features a 2300 milliamp non-removable battery and 8 gig of internal storage which supports a micro SD card up to 32 gig. So when it comes to the battery and internal storage, they're pretty much the same thing. It will get you throughout the day with no problem. If you do take advantage of the power saving option that Sony provides in their smartphone, um, they will both last you the whole day. Um, I have been using the Sony Xperia or I have used the Sony Xperia SP and the battery life is great. Currently my girl is actually using that phone and she loves the battery and she used to use the iPhone 4S and she's now on the Sony Xperia SP and she loves the phone in terms of the battery it's great because she does take advantage of the power saving options so there you have it you guys another quick comparison of the Sony Xperia M2 up against the Sony Xperia SP let me know your thoughts on these two devices and let me know which one you would get if you had to choose one and feel free to share this video with your friends ensure to follow me on Twitter and also Google Plus to keep up to date with all my videos and if you are new to my channel please ensure to hit that subscribe subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.